Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll walk through two ways to delete rows from a pandas data frame. Let's first create a sample data frame so that we have something to work with. If you want to follow along, feel free to copy the code in the description below. Once I create my data frame, I'm going to set the username column to be the index. So our original data frame has an index of integer numbers, and this data frame has the usernames as its index. So basically for pandas data frame index, you can think of it as the table row names. Like you know how a table can have column names and here you can also have table row names. The first technique to delete rows is by using pandas drop method. There are several arguments for this method, but I want you to remember the most important ones, which are column, index, and in place. There are two ways of using this function and I'll show you both. Feel free to let me know which one you prefer. So the syntax goes like this, df.drop then index equal to, and here this can be a single item that represents the row index, or it can be a list of index names. Let's drop the entry for Harry Potter. This is going to be a single entry, so we just need to pass in the string value for Harry Potter. Let's run this and we see that Harry Potter just magically disappeared. Now I want to show you the second way of using the same drop function. I'm going to reuse the the same data frame. Note that Harry Potter is still here in the original data frame because we didn't choose to override it. So the second way is going to be df dot pass in the index name that we want to drop and then specify axis equal to zero. So axis equal to zero means rows and axis equal to one means columns. And if we will run this, then we'll see that Harry Potter just left us again. Of course, this axis equal to zero is optional and by default, the axis argument is already set to zero, so we can actually omit this. I used to write code like these, but I think the first line of code is a lot easier to read because readability counts, don't you think so? If for whatever reason we want to overwrite the original data frame, we just need to include an additional argument in place equal to true. This will update the original data frame with the drop operation. So next, we can also delete rows by using the row numbers as opposed to the index names. We can use the index numbers to select items from the row names or a data frame index names. For example, to select the first and the third row, which are Forrest Gump and Harry Potter, we can call df.index and then pass in a list of zero and two. So the first and the third item. And this will give us the first and the third element of the data frame index. Then we can pass this subset of index into the drop function to delete those two rows. The next technique I'm gonna show to drop rows uh, is by using a Boolean index. So a Boolean index is basically a list of Boolean values, so a list of true or false values. We can use the Boolean values as a filter to select which ones to keep and which ones to drop. Let me show you what this Boolean index look like. So df.index not equal to gin gray, and we get an array of five Boolean values. The first three rows plus the last row are not gin gray. So inside this array, the first three items plus the last one are true. And then the third and the fourth row are indeed Jane Grey, so in this array, the third and the fourth item are false because our condition is not equal to Jane Grey. And once we pass this Boolean index into the data frame, then we'll have a new data frame with Jane Grey removed. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more tricks and tips on Python and Pandas. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.